Hey budget fam, happy Sunday guys. I cannot tell you how excited I am for today's video. It is GB here, it's your girl, back again with another budget binder setup video with a lot of fun, spooky DIY ideas. If that sounds like something you might be interested, definitely please keep watching. We're going to talk about what I'm going to be setting up my binder with for the month of October. It is going to be completely spooky, guys. I am in my spooky place. October is for us. The horror fans, the thriller fans, the suspense, the true crime, murder mysteries, all of that. October is for us. Everybody else, y'all had all year. Y'all had 11 months. You still have two more months to go. Give us our month, guys. Indulge us, please, because it is for spooky season also all of the binders have gone dark guys they're all black so i will be sharing with you budget binder setup some ideas and also i'm sharing with you the saving challenges that i'm going to be doing for the month of october and guess what there's two new boxes that i've not yet played and now is the perfect time for us to bring those boxes out and guys one of them is vampire theme <laughs> nonetheless guys i am just really super excited guys i am a hardcore horror fan i just love things all darkness okay so my desk has a lot of things going on here guys and i'm gonna need you to focus right here guys this is where the spookiness matters guys okay so i've kind of taken everything out of my this is my budget planner binder um, this is where I try to kind of plan out the entire month that I am focusing on. And so I think it's great. It's a great, it's a good habit, guys, to kind of sit down, plan out what you want to accomplish for the next month and kind of see where you are in your progress towards your financial goals. But honestly, the decoration part is just for aesthetics, but it's also very therapeutic. So be creative, be wild, be crazy. This is your happy place. Okay, so I know it's September 29th, Sunday, obviously, uh, but tomorrow, Monday, the 30th, is going to be the last day of September, and then we're jumping straight into October. So today is the only day we can really sit down and pay attention to what we want to do because it's going to be a busy week for some of us. I'm working. I don't know if you're working. We're all busy. So let's kind of show you what I have going on here in terms of the decorations. I am aware, or I was made aware, that October 1st is actually going to be international coffee day so my budget bestie um the budget love of my life um maria over she's got it have given me some lovely little coffee um decors but they're also scratch offs i love that she have black matte stickers excuse me i love it two things in one dark matte and coffee i love it all right i also did um a decor set um on canva and we have our little spooky house excuse me i am obsessed guys i love spooky houses have i ever been in one no not that i know of at least um i have my index card here and usually what i do is i color coordinate the saving challenges that i'm going to be doing and you will see that in the other sheets so this will make sense a little bit later then i also have the october calendar and we put a little bit of bats to the back there loving it so that's my spooky October index card. And then obviously I have another spooky insert and it's like a little moon, you know, because, you know, we love our vampires over here. And I have the word spooky. You would remember that we actually had a decoration card that had grease on the back here. It was very coffee themed, but I wanted to switch out to something a bit spooky for this month. We also have some little dark stuff in here. This is from a decoration pack that I got from Shein. So I just, I love the blackness of it. So we're going to be adding that to the front here. And obviously, since October is still uh, coffee month, we are going to throw in, because we don't want it to be overly spooky. So we're going to throw in some browns, some neutrals. So I'm going to have this scratch off as well as this uh, coffee sticker that Budget Bestie also made for me as well. I absolutely love that. And here is the affirmation um, for the month of October. I am financially responsible and make smart decisions with my money. I am financially responsible and make smart decisions with my money. Say it, believe it, and receive it. I received that today. Now, 
spooky side coming out also guys um excuse me in case you didn't know this is also from shein as well but let me just also point out i was on shein guys i live on shein i i really do and i'm always looking for like lovely decor stuff and i saw this this is a napkin by the way but it had body of evidence excuse me and it's very newspaper themed i am screaming on the inside and the outside as well um look at this guys look at this so this is a napkin and i'm very i love doing flat lay photos and so this is going to be absolutely perfect you know for flat lay photos doing photography but also it is definitely going to be into the same excuse me no peeking i have a little secret under here so i absolutely love this thing that says body of evidence guys i just love it it suits my little horror investigative um side perfectly so that is what that is there all right so um let's get the front of this kind of decorated with some of the stuff here um also from shein i found excuse me oh my gosh guys i found this roll of stickers and it's very coffee themed but there's also a slight dark undertone to it as well it's not creepy it's very coffee themed but also there's little words here and you are going to be in heaven because these are absolutely perfect for those of us that love to have just random bits of words that absolutely make no sense but they are very aesthetic and i love it guys excuse me you see all of these, like, they just don't make any sense, but they are perfect. So that is something else that I have um, found on Shein, and I'm going to be using that for my setup. And then I also bought myself some more washi. I am in washi heaven. And these are all perfect for the neutral girlies, the dark girlies. They are absolutely, I think they're sold out now but I have to grab them. When you see something on Shein, guys, do not deliberate. You have to make that an impulse purchase. You need an impulse cash envelope that says impulse purchases, guys, because this, this, you got it. You have to snap it, guys. I love it, guys. Look at all of those beautiful washies. Love it. Okay, so whilst we're in the topic of Shein, excuse me, I did pick up another pen. Sorry, guys. This video is going to be just, just me rambling and talking about different things that I purchased this pen writes so good i am just obsessed and excuse me they are in coffee toned colors and the packaging is just super cute there's a lovely little grip to this i showed you the white pens already in a previous video i showed you these white pens that i purchased this is the check signing pen okay we don't use this unless we're writing checks because they are just so nice and aesthetic that's this pen here lovely nice little grip to this pen absolutely beautiful inexpensive but so aesthetic but this set right here i started writing with this and i was like where have you been all my life okay look at this cute packaging guys all right we're gonna get to this binder setup oh my goodness look at these guys look at these i love that they have a nice bit of thickness to them they're not too small they're not too thick and look at that oh soft click okay the click is not as strong as the white ones and then we have this skinny one oh that's a strong click right there we have this skinny one here there's nothing on it it's very much giving coffee vibes and then we have look at this this is this looks so mechanical i oh that's a strong click that is beautiful and it tells you the size of the i don't know what you call that the the stroke whatever 0.5 um look oh what in the world is this this is beautiful i'm gonna figure out what it is is it a marker because there's a little stop to the front here but we're not we're not gonna do all that this one's also 0 0.5 that's a nice strong click there as well but these pens are absolutely gorgeous and they are also delicious okay i love it Anyway, I don't know why I decided to mention that. Another thing that I pick up from Shein, guys, sorry, last thing, um, are white old pens. I've, whenever you make a mess, you can just use this kind of white old. These are really cheap. They're not as strong as I would have, would have expected because I have made some mistakes in my binder. But if you are 
changing up your mind having a white old pen is definitely a must have so definitely have one if you um if you need one okay guys now let's get back to the binder setup that i have going on here i think i'm going to shove this right here because we're just having coffee is going to be an undertone to this but it's going to be really really spooky um international coffee day i think i want you here right here just like that and we are going to shove this black right there october and spooky we're going to just have it right here just like this and i'm going to use a paper clip and i think i'm going to just paper clip these two right here because i need to see them i need to see the spooky and i need to see the october i need to see the day of the month and okay so we're going to get to the vampire box in just a second. I also got a new um, sticky sticky pad as well. So spooky, the index card is going to go over here because this is always going to be at the front of my binder. And the spooky house is going to go here. I really want to see the spooky house. So that's going to have to stay there. And then I think we're going to have a little bit of black undertone behind. Yeah, but that's going to hide the haunted house. I want to see the haunted Oh, yeah. Actually, that's perfect right there. Oh, my gosh. That is so beautiful. That is lovely. And then, obviously, our affirmation. Oh, actually, I can go right here to say October. Right there. Right? That's what we want. It's hiding just a little bit, but that's okay because we also have October here as well. Oh my gosh, it all came together. Wow, usually it takes a while. Like I'll be here pushing in and pushing out, but there we go, guys. That is what the front of our binder is looking like in terms of our spooky October coffee binder setup. We've got our index card here, and then I have, I replaced the coffee ones that we have here. I put a little croissant there. You know, we don't want it to be overly spooky. I didn't change the um, grease thing. This is gonna stay here all year. Um, this because this is my 2025 binder and the goal is to be in Greece. So let's kind of just quickly um, go over to October and I have already started to set up October. Um, I know that the day is Sunday the 29th, so I've actually not done anything um, this last week in terms of writing stuff down. I just didn't feel like it, but I have started to set up um, for the month of October and this is leftover September going into October. So I've kind of started to write some stuff here and I absolutely love it, guys. So this is the kind of monthly overview of what I want to accomplish in terms of my savings challenges. Like I said, I am doing a number of different um, savings challenges and I started to write down some of the saving challenges, but I made a slight change. I was going to do Christmas this month, but because it's October, I just want to get all of my spooky saving challenges completed. So the spooky box, my spooky friends, and then the vampire box. And also, I want to start the Good Times box that was um, gifted to me by Budget and Chaos, Mari from Budget and Chaos. So even though this says Christmas buy under 50 euros, um, this has since changed into good times as well as the vampire box. But, you know, we can always edit this a little bit later. All of the same challenges that I'm doing this month, including Co Cozy Autumn, Build a Farm, Spooky Friends, they're going to be, what I'm focusing on this month is funding my Christmas because the money from good times will go into my Christmas savings challenges, and my emergency fund, my car insurance, because I need to finish this by the end of October, as well as investments as well. That is what the plan is for this month. And um, this is a little bit of a kind of uh, binder decor kind of setup. You see, because this little sticker here, again, I got this from this roll of um, sticker tapes. So we do have three new markers that I'm going to be using this month. And I think it's a good idea to just sit down and kind of pick, pick out some of the markers. These are different from the markers that we used last month. So I'll be decorating with these three colors and I've written down the numbers. These are all from the brand Ohuhu. So that is really, I love adding elements of planner um, into my budgeting. Um, and Ohuhu is actually a really great brand. So those are the three markers that I will be using. I don't know if anybody else has these markers, but I just wanted to show you the colors. Uh, butternut, butter, buttercup? Oh, buttercup yellow, pale mauve, and hazelnuts. 
Okay, those are nice. So, the stickers that I have here, there's a number of different stickers that I have in here. This is from the Happy Planner. Um, I got that from the Happy Planner. This is from Shein. This is from Shein. This is everything else is from Shein, Ashley. Yeah, with the exception of this, all of the other stickers are actually from Shein. And what I'm using this page for now is just going to be brain dump. I don't want to be specific to what I'm thinking of my thoughts Monday, Tuesday. Like, I don't want it to be daily thoughts. I now want it to just be a brain dump. Whatever I think of, I just want to write them here in no particular order. This page would have actually been perfect as a dot grid page. I don't have any dot grid pages. I don't want to use what I have. So I keep purchasing new stuff over and over again. Let's not waste. So this is where I'm going to do my brain dump. And then I have started to write down my daily affirmation for the month of October. And also I need to finish reading the Psychology of Money book. I've been on that all of the all of September. Actually really, really need to finish that. Let me just quickly grab that. This book here, The Psychology of Money from Morgan Housel. I purchased this off of Amazon. And I'm like, I think I'm halfway done at the minute. So I really need to hard finish this one. And I'm probably, I'm most likely going to start Atomic Habits um, after I'm done with this. So those are the two books that I have. I also have my Kindle here as well. So whilst I'm heading to work on the train or the bus or whatever, um, I can easily just use my Kindle to kind of read, I don't know, some kind of horror mystery, murder mystery stuff and stuff like that. So that's kind of what I'm planning to do in terms of reading then at the bottom here i do actually have music film activity health and gratitude so i want to make sure that i'm doing these habits on a daily basis as well but i'll probably just write something here music is obviously going to be soft and romantic for the month as well we don't need any creepy music because we don't need to be feeling creepy whilst we're at work so every week the plan is to write down my affirmations, write down a, a song that I really want to enjoy listening to, a film that I really want to watch again. Um, it's going to be all spooky films for the month of October and some activities. Um, I definitely want to go to the coffee shop this month, so I have to make arrangements for that. Health, I am taking... I've started to consistently take my multivitamins and um, vitamin d as well because now we're in the darker months so there's less sun so i have to make sure that i stay on top of that and obviously gratitude which is super important what am i grateful for on a daily basis family friends a community to be a part of life in general okay and obviously the word of the day it's not obviously i don't know why i keep saying that but my word of the day for the month of October is still going to be grateful. I believe it what it was the same word of the month for September, was it? Or was it confident? Oh, actually it was confident actually for September. So my word of the month for October is going to be grateful. So I'm just gonna flip. I got some new washi tapes as well in this little um grid grid design and I I love it as well. So I got this from Jean as well. So that is basically how my binder is looking like so far. I started to put some stickers down on different pages. Again, this is from the Happy Planner. And um, this is this is the sticker from Maria that she gifted me as well. I absolutely love that sticker. And this is how the month of October is looking so far. Empty pages. Hopefully we get to fill them all in. But I find closer towards the end of the month, I actually start to just dwindle down. I don't do a lot because I am actually really busy. And plus I have college assignments and everything to do. So it's a really busy schedule for the month of October. Anyway, that is it in terms of my budget binder set up. We are all good to go. We've got all of our spooky and coffee uh, decor all set up. So that is going to be it for this. The last thing I will share is I will be using some glitter pens as well, just to add a bit of color. Again, this is a cheap brand that I got from Lidl, I think it was, uh, called Crelando. So we do have like a spooky purple. Um, we have a spooky gray. We have a spooky glitter black. The green and brown, we were using these during the month of September. I still want to have some sort of coffee element to it. And I love this dark green because it's autumn -y and also it reminds me of money. So those are the four glitter pens that we're going to be using to complement these markers here as well. So 
I'm going to go ahead and put this in and let's kind of talk about the saving challenges that I'm going to be. Alright friends, it is time for us to go through with the saving challenges that we will be focusing on for the month of October. And you would have already seen this binder because we cashed off this um, yesterday, Saturday. So our Spooky Friends binder where it's everything's kind of really cute inside here. Um, we have a number of different saving challenges from uh, a lot of the budget friends here in the budget community. So if you missed yesterday's video, definitely go and check that out. Um, we had a lot of fun stuffing a number of spooky saving challenges. So that is going to be one of the saving challenges that we're focusing on, which is going to be our spooky friends um, binder. All right, that's one of the binders, sorry, saving challenge binder. All right, so the next thing that we're going to be doing this month is, and notice all my binders are black. Um, we talked about this on Friday. So this is going to be our Builder Farm uh, Spooktober Savings Adventure. Um, it is very, um, mm, what's the word I'm looking for? Mystery, thriller kind of theme going on. There's a lot of things that's wrong with this Savings Challenges intentionally. And um, if you start to see things that are wrong, you have to ask yourself, what's really going on here? So we have a little bit of information. Um, it is taking place in a hospital, or as some people say, hopsital. And um, you're just going to have to figure out what's happening. What's happening here? We're, you're working at a hospital, but you do have some hospital weekly tasks you're going to be working in the library. You're looking for uh, the cure for what could possibly be a pig pox pandemic. And uh, there's a special patient in room 13 that you are going to be tending to. But you need to figure out what's going on because there's a lot going on here. There's a lot of things that are wrong um, in Build a Farm. So that's what we're going to be doing um, for this particular savings challenge. All right. So that is now done. That's what we're that's what we're gonna be doing. So we did spooky friends, we did build a farm. Then the next savings challenge, I think the rest are new. Are they all new? Alright, that's good times. This is gonna be for vampire. And oh spooky box, sorry. We need to finish spooky box. We've been playing spooky box for quite some time. Um, October is going to be the last time that we actually play this. So whatever we're able to accomplish this month, that's it. We're going to finish it off and that'll be it for the year. Um, Spooky Box used to be in a purple binder. We've now since moved into the black binder. And a lot of us are actually finishing up on Spooky Box. So I'm excited to see what everyone is able to save for this particular saving challenge. But there are two parts to Spooky Box. There's the regular Spooky Box saving challenge. And then we did add on the Knock Knock, which is where we find all of the ghosts. So we definitely need to finish this and finally use our Spooky Funded Savings Challenge. So that's going to be the next saving challenge binder that we have. Now, the newest saving challenge binder that I'm going to be playing this month is called Good Times. And I know it shouldn't actually really be in a dark box. I mean, a dark binder, but I wanted it to be a part of our spooky saving challenges this month. And there's nothing spooky about this. It's all about having fun. And this was created by Mary over at Budget and Chaos. And I promised myself that I would actually get started this month. So I'm going to use this to put the money into my Christmas savings challenges. So whatever I save in this challenge, I'm definitely going to be putting towards my Christmas because Christmas is all about the good times. It does come with a number of cards as well that I have all printed out and I've kind of stuffed into this little box here. I just put this thing in the back here so they don't fall down, but I guess I don't really need it. But they, there's a lot of cards in here as well. And basically with this, all you do is just pick a card and you just do what the card tells you to do. So there are, I believe there's 12 savings challenges in here, all right? So we do have the dashboard, which comes in A6 as well as A5. I didn't need the A5. And there's also a budget sheet. We have a number of sections. So that's section one, that's section two. So you'll see feast night, sip night. Then we have flick night. Then we have gig night, which is section four. And section five is going to be game night. And then section six is night in. And then there is some additional some additional games. Play with three dice. Choose high or low numbers to be saved. Oh, I love that. So this is very low income friendly as well. I think the numbers are, are reasonable. 
right? I didn't think I see anything outrageous, like how the candy box is just simply outrageous. I mean, we have a nine there. Maybe the highest is going to be a nine. It, oh no, there's a 10 there as well. So this one is 10. And then we have a lose win plinko. Land on one of the icons and save that extra as an extra savings. Okay. There we go. And then we have let's stay home. Ask Alex or Alexa or Siri for a number and save. That's going to be really fun to do. And then we have fast food or fine dining. Roll to dice, one for the row and one for the column. See where they meet. And if you land on fast food, you save three. And if you land on fine dining, you save $4. All right, so that's not bad. We have a number of different fast foods there as well. Then we have a movie knockout. That's going to be interesting to play. I don't think I've ever played like a knockout type game. So that's going to be fun to play. And then we have shut the box with a bar theme. Yes. Uh, we love a good drink over here, guys. We love a good drink. Now, I will say, even though the numbers are pretty reasonable, let me say that, there are some cards in here that ask you to double it and triple it, I think. When I was printing them out, I saw something that says, parking fee is insane, play around and save double, okay? So there are some double it, triple it cards. So might, you know, just be prepared if you do play this game, that you might have to save just a little bit extra. Hey, but it's all for the good times, guys. This is all going to my Christmas savings. So I'm very happy to finally get this box started. This is available on her Etsy store as far as I am aware. So definitely, I will have her link down below. Hop on over to her channel and get yourself the good times, all right? Now, last but not least for uh, closing out our savings challenges for the month of October, guys. We're going to make space for one final savings challenge box, guys. And I don't like to do too much, but I couldn't resist, guys. I was asking about a vampire box. I am actually obsessed with vampires, guys. I really am. Um, coffee and vampires. Yes. And I was just casually mentioning it in yesterday's video when I was doing my spooky friend finder. And guys, excuse me. The universe was able to send that video to the right person at the right time. And Pernille from Peak Road Designs, who also made the star box that we were playing during the month of September, came out with the vampire box, guys. And I was like, oh, yes, I ask and you shall receive. Hello. Hello, somebody. All right. So I do have the vampire box now. My printer was set on double sided. So what happened was whilst I was printing these out, they actually printed double sided. And they're also upside down. So I don't want to waste the paper, guys. So unfortunately, uh, they are going to be printed upside down and double-sided. But I can still use them. So that's not an issue for me at all. So this is what the Vampire Box has. There are cards that come with this as well. I've not yet printed out the cards. But all of the cards actually have the icons that's on each of the section. So we do have the cover for Vampire Box, right? I love it guys i love it and then in the back here we do have like a number of different capes now she did design this to be like the 30 envelope type savings challenge but i'm actually going to make this low income so no matter what the number is that i'm going to i'm just going to treat it as a icon and all of these icons are actually going to be just one euro slash one dollar or one pound so everything's going to be pretty low income because I need to finish this during the month of October because there's no other time that I can play it. You know, this is the only chance that us horror fans and thriller fans get. We only have October, so we have to finish everything. All right, so that's the dashboard. And that's also one of the sections that um, comes with the savings challenge. And then we have this section here that have all these cute little bats on there. And then on the opposite side, it gives an explanation of the table of contents. So it tells you what each section is. So section one is going to be fashionable cape wear. Section two is going to be terrifying companions. Section three is going to be wasted eating opportunities. Section four is most valuable cutlery. Section five is humble abode. And section six is the coven of nightmares. I absolutely love it. Now she does have something here that says, do you want low income? You can divide all the even numbers with two or with two digit numbers, add the two numbers together. Example, 27 equals two plus seven, which equal nine. And then you can just save nine. So she is giving you a bit of um, instructions on how to play this and make it more low income. But for me, I'm going to do everything as one euro. 
All right, so that's that one. Then we have this one here, guys. Ooh. <laughs> um, it's a little bit of a splatter there, guys. And then on the opposite side, there is a budget sheet. You can record how much you are saving for this, but uh, I'm most likely just gonna use this side. Then we have all of the lovely vampire characters. Are they not stunning? Excuse me, hello. <laughs> absolutely beautiful love the little coven theme going on here guys absolutely gorgeous vampires on the opposite side there are some iou um teeth mark bike marks type slips uh again these were printed double-sided by error so i won't be able to use those but i love it and then we have the little abodes the little creepy places we have a lovely spooky forest a lovely house we have um a little um another like big house there on, on top of a spooky little hill we got a little castle yeah spooky castle and then we have a little little log house where you know most people go to hide in those scary movies i don't know why would you why would you go in the middle of nowhere why do people go and stay into these remote deserted places and not research before they go there hello not me i will not be going anywhere deserted well, maybe. I don't know. I love the thrill of it. And then on the back there, we do have a bonus savings challenge. It's called Bleeding Out. And there are some bandages there. And um, there is an icon to the bottom here. Each one of these icons, the potion, um, is going to be $1 for me. And then we have another one over here, Potion Rescue. We have some potion bottles as well. And you can assign an amount for each of these icons. Mine is also going to be $1. And then over here, we do have bite marks, teeth teeth fangs there's a word i was looking for we have our juicy little fangs guys and oh look at these ones so cute naughty naughty and then again two bonus save it challenges okay so you have your six sections one two three four five and then the cape is on the opposite side of this so that's the six sections and then two bonus um saving challenges there guys all right so let's quickly set this binder up i know this video is kind of on the lengthy side because your girl love talking but um i feel like i might just um i was gonna leave this out because i want to see the name but the cape is on the back so i might just do i might punch some holes in there because i want to see i want to see the name i don't want it to be behind it but this cape the money will go into that say into that box there okie dokie now there is some um, explanation of the different sections but i'm not going to worry about that so we'll do the fangs to the front here. And on the opposite side, we do have the little potions. We will do, I love looking at these ones. So we're gonna do this here, just like so. And then for that, next we're gonna put in, I don't think the sections matter. I'm not really concerned about the order of the sections. And then we have the blood splatter going into there and then lastly we have our little bad friends going into here as well so if i decide to print the cards out because like i said i don't really feel like i need to print the cards out but i might print them out i have this little envelope here with a little pocket so i can put my cards in and just pick a random card to see which one but i was just going to do them like i was going to roll a six-sided die and just see which section i was going to go to as well and probably just add a bit of spooky decor to the front there as well so that is the vampire box this is available on her etsy store i believe she also came out with a witch box and something else maybe werewolf i'm not sure but uh, I was only concerned about the vampire, guys. So that is going to be the saving challenges that we are focusing on for the month of October, for the spooky month of October. We've got a lot going on. We've got our spooky friends. We've got our build a farm uh, mystery thriller savings challenge. We do have our spooky box. We have our vampire box. And we have our good times. That is going to be it for me today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this October budget binder setup. I hope you got some ideas of how to set up your binder and decorate as well. Um, I will see you in my next video, guys. Bye.